tool right up here at the top of the uh, top of the screen in the menu bar. We have a couple of options. We have text and we have fit text to a curve. So let's just create some text first. So we're going to um, create this text. We're going to hit the text tool. And uh, this pops up over here. Now, in plasma cutting, we always want to work with, with vectors. So unless you select this vectorize button right here, Bobcad's not going to create this text as a vector. It'll create it as a text object. And um, SheetCam doesn't know what to do with a text object. So we always, always make sure that this vectorize is highlighted in purple. So now we can just enter our text. And we can select the font right here. So the fonts available are any font that's a, that is installed on your uh, computer. Okay, we can select the font height. We'll say three inches. And make it bold, make it italic, anything you want to do there. When you're ready to go, So there's our text. Now, it's not placed it yet. It's going to place it when I click on the screen. And if I want to change the height, I can do that at this point. I can say make it 4 inches. Click OK. And it updates. Now, if I want to change the angle, the angle is the, right now we're at 0 degrees. We're relative to the x-axis. I can change the angle to say uh, 45. Hit OK. It changes the angle. So let's go ahead and place that text. Okay, and there it is. So now when I export that, because I had vectorized selected, that is going to show up in sheet cam. Now text on a curve <coughs> we have distance from path and we have um, okay so what we're gonna do is let's draw a curve first so we're gonna use the uh, spline interpolator tool Fitting text to curve. Um, 